friends, I am back, and today we're going to make a 3D printable golf tee I call the Tinker Teeny. So let's get cracking. So golf tees are cheap to buy, but I wanted to try and make one. Friends, this fun little tee is created almost entirely with the awesome Tinkercad cone. Let me show you how I did it. So first, control D and shift nudge so we don't break the original. Now I'm going to ungroup this, and you'll see it is a cone and a cone, and then a few more cones, and then simply a sphere being cut out of it to hold the golf ball. If we check the measurements, I use 2.65 for this top radius, so it's going to be a little bit more than 5 in diameter. My base radius is 10. The height of this cone is 11, and I maxed the sides out at 64. I did a little bit of measuring, and I found that a sphere with size 18.7 was great for making the cup. At that point, I chose where to sink it in. I chose to have about one millimeter of surface here for the 3D print. That is why I use 18.7, where this one right here, where our cone has 20. I could then move this up with control up until it poked out. And then I could do control down and move it a little bit lower. And finally, I could micro nudge it by setting it to 0.1 and doing control down arrow till I was happy. Just so you know, if you hit T for transparent, you can get a better look at how much is going to be left after cutting. And once you're happy, you can simply hit T to bring it back. I do want to remind you that this sphere is a hole and it will cut when I group it. I'm going to hide this piece for just a second. I just want to show you that once you've got your part in place, you can cruise the next piece right out there. Of course, those measurements were both 2.65. If I bring it back, you'll be able to see how slick that worked. I also wanted a max height of 35, so I simply set that. And then I wanted to make this piece. Check this trick out. All I had to do was Control D. I'll do Shift Nudge to move it away so you can see how it happens. And then I just changed the measurements. I'll show you my numbers. 5.3 and 7. Watch how easy this adjusts. 5.3 enter. And bingo, there's the width. And when I change that height to 7, bam, we have the exact shape. But note it's at the wrong location. All I did was shift select these two, L for a line, and I had to move it to the top. And of course, I want this one to be the master and choose center, and then that one was already centered. I simply repeated that process to make this piece, and I cruised the point on top. Notice it starts at 2.65, and I set the tip at 0.5, so it's got a one millimeter point up here. If you wanted it more sharp, of course, you just change the numbers. That, my friends, is the Tinker Teeny Golf Tee. Once you do Control G, it is a single part, and you can export it for 3D printing. I'm going to choose an STL, and I'm going to put it in my 3D modeling folder. I had already done one earlier, so I'm going to call this one V2. And simply save changes. Now, of course, we can move to Bamboo Studio create the new project. I am going to add the file. There is my Tinker Teeny Golf Tee. That first print I shared was Bamboo PLA. The second one is going to be some generic ABS. Don't forget you can simply right click, change filament, and find the one that you want. I am also going to switch to point two and strength because I want that to be strong. Finally, we can hit slice plate. Note how slick this is. It automatically chooses to add brim to support that print and in about 27 minutes we will have a sweet new golf tee. I will double check my settings and let's send it to the 3D printer. Of course it takes a minute for it to download but then we can hit play and monitor the entire process from afar. And here we are, friends, the Tinker Teeny Golf Tee. All right, friends, so here we are. ABS, now this is old ABS, and we've got Bamboo PLA. Like how this is bendable. This one, though, I'm going to tell you, I was able to snap it in half. 
Now that could be the old ABS. I don't know, but it did snap pretty easily. I did not dry the filament. That might be an interesting thing to test as well. Could also be the way we have it oriented in the printer, but I'll give these a couple of tests with golf clubs and I'll report back just how well it goes. I will show you real quickly. Holds a golf ball, absolutely perfect. And just like that, friends, I duplicated and modified so I can test it on a par 3 course. Friends, of course, I hope you gained some basic skills, had a ton of fun, and of course, have a glorious day and keep tinkering. Friends, wrapping up real quick, don't forget my website, ahlmodtech.com. It has a page dedicated to Tinkercad with all sorts of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down just a little further, you'll find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days, which is hosted on cadclass.org. This video right here will give you all the details, and if you look at the very bottom, there is a coupon code 25HLTinkerCAD. It'll get you 25% off any of the amazing offers at cadclass.org. And you can click right here to immediately visit the website. Friends, I do also want to highlight the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me on almost instantly. Finally, friends, don't forget the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of users and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.